Hey Aries, welcome to your singles, doubles, and situations reading, all right? So for those of you that are new, welcome. I'm an intuitive. Much of what you see here will not be traditional. Take it as it resonates. Please our SBI. Okay, for those of you returning, I appreciate you. If you would like to have a personal reading or work with me on any of my other services, find out about the sacred space. All of that is down below. You can also find links for karmic donations, or you can find all of that and my books at mindsetunicorn.me. Okay, so let's get going here. For those of you returning, I really do appreciate you, okay? Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And know that there are doggos in here that may or may not end up coming into your reading. All right. For the collective, okay, Aries, you have an awareness that you are about to make a big change. Okay. Uh, you're at the crossroads. I feel like you are ready to move forward with something. Okay. I feel like you've been looking at it for a while and felt like, you were kind of locked out, but you've worked with your inner child, right? And I feel like you're ready for this success that is coming for you. All right, beautiful energy. So let's see what is going on here, Aries. All right, let's get some overall energy. All right, singles, doubles, and situations. Okay, at the bottom here, take a break, okay? A life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill. Okay, especially if you've been working really, really hard, I feel like you're being guided. Like spirit is like, listen, it's okay. Take some time off for the holiday, right? Everyone deserves that little bit of break, okay? Overall energy, okay? Break the chain, again. Right? I feel like you are at a crossroads. You are moving forward. You are releasing yourself from the darkness, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Right? Whatever you thought the future was going to be, now you've seen. And what you've seen, you're like, I've seen and I'm changing. Okay? For our singles, okay? Mintunkin, okay? Longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Okay, you may really resonate with the uh, live reading I did the other day, post Saji. Um, I feel like the light workers are really opening up. Okay, so let's see singles here, right? So, hey, hey, Aries says it's just a car. Hey, Aries says it's just a car. Do you need to go out of this room? Oliver. No, you don't want to go out of the room? Well, then you have to... Okay, I gotta put you out. Oh, no, you don't want to go out. You just want to come up here. All right, come on. Get up here. Last chance. Come on. I'm not going to play games today. Come up. Get up. 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 Come on, do it. Do it. Come on. Do it. Okay, last chance. Get up there. Go, go. Okay, one more try, and then we gotta go back to Aries. Okay, there you go. Okay, you gotta be here with Aries, huh? Huh, you here? Okay, say hello Aries, I'm sorry, I'm so annoying. My name is Oliver, I'll be your translator today. All right, so, singles. Okay, Queen of Swords in the upright with the Empress in reverse and the King of Wands in reverse. Okay, right? You are tired of being somebody's, uh, you're, instead of being their wifey, their partner, right? The Emperor and Empress, you're like, I'm tired of being somebody's mommy, right? Look, Queen of Swords in the world, right? You're ending something here. You are definitely moving into uh, a very single energy here, okay? Three of Wands, right? Path forward, the bridge. Really beautiful. 
let's get a little bit deeper look here. Okay, because I, what I was about to say before Oliver so rudely interrupted is this mermaid here, okay, really looks like they're sitting on that fool's ledge. <coughs> Someone needed to hear that. Okay, Queen of Swords, power. All right, Nine of Pentacles and um, Page of Wands, right? Like you could be getting back out there, right? Okay, going after the after what you want in work. And, you know, some of you are taking what you've learned, okay? Maybe even from dealing with somebody who was a little bit childish, okay, right? King of Swords here at the bottom, right? You're putting it out there, okay, that... Um, this whole like process that you've been through and all these things, but what you're putting out there is attracting to you. Okay. Somebody, and they're really thinking about you. Okay. Tell me about the world. Okay. Yep. Ace of swords, right? You're tired of feeling like not being in a way is not being enough and that your thought processes shh, hey quit making toast are not being honored empress in reverse okay three of swords in reverse okay for some of you you're just tired of the way that this connection feels okay it feels like ick um, it could be that the text messages, okay, have stopped and you're tired of it being very one way, right? King of Wands in reverse. The Emperor. Okay, this person thinks egotistically like they are the Emperor and you're the Empress and oh, we've got it all sort of an energy, right? But they are immature. They are single focused okay juvenile in a lot of ways all right so i will come back with a little advice in a minute okay we're gonna move to our doubles doubles okay sisterhood of the rose okay beauty and devotion priestess mix mystic teacher okay you could be for some of you, you could be single, okay? But the reason that you are coming in in the devil's energy is that you are very, very connected to your soulmate of some type, um, despite there being anything written. There could also be very much a same sex, okay? Sort of an energy here and Maybe it hasn't been fully worked through yet, okay? Like you are partners, but maybe you haven't really declared your partnership is what I'm kind of getting here. Okay. The chariot, okay? Movement. This is going to be moving out of the darkness Okay, definitely the lunar to solar eclipse was a very big process here for the two of you, okay? The tower, uh, everything was knocked off its foundation so that it could be rebuilt. King of Cups, okay, understanding. Someone has come to an understanding that this is a very divine soulmate, okay? That they see the blessings within this connection, okay? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They might recognize that they haven't really put in the work that they should have, um, and now they're ready to. Okay, they want me to look at the bottom here, Judgment. You may, though, um, in Ten of Wands, Page of Pentacles, you may have, in a way, though, already started detaching yourself from this. 
Okay, let's look a little bit deeper here. The Chariot. Four of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, you've already changed some codes. <laughs> you've already uh, blocked them out of some areas of your life. Um, again, just because things did get knocked off their foundation here recently. Again, we've got the tower clarifying the tower. All right. And the two of swords. It's almost like even as things were falling, this person couldn't quite come through for this. And, you know, you're kind of like, well, I'll take your Jenga and meet your Jenga. There is a lot of love here. Okay, though, with the King of Cups, but we've got the Knight of Cups in reverse. They don't really show up where you need them to show up. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, we've got the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like this person here. They are very, very centrally focused right now. And yet you're growing, okay? Right? You're coming into your own. You're calling in connections and support. And I don't see you opting to wait for too much longer for this person, okay? For our situations, protection, call back your power, cut the cores, soul retrieval, okay? That full moon eclipse, okay, really brought to light a need to bring in protection in regards to this connection, okay? Let's see why. Okay, Nine of Wands, Determination. Um, I feel like on both sides here, right? Either you both want the same thing or you both are in a commitment on both sides, right? And nobody's willing to um, pull the trigger though to get this to move forward. Even though there's a lot of determination, yeah, three of cups here, okay? I feel like you have been friend zoned and you're like friend zoned yet again, okay? Yeah, I love this, okay? You are giving in between the end and the beginning, right? Standing at the crossroads, in between crossing the bridge, right? You're starting to give to yourself, okay? Generosity. That's card 22. What I really love about the energy of in between, okay? It was like the other night we had to go to um, deal with something actually in the bank. We couldn't do it online. And so we went there and on our way back to our car, we took this bridge and everything was lit up. And we stopped for a minute and we enjoyed it and we took a picture, right? You're in this in-between energy, like you've pulled back and you're protecting yourself, but you're in this really enjoyable energy, okay, right now, which is really nice. Three of Swords, Affairs of the Heart, and Knight of Cups, Dreamer, okay? You're still getting over this, but you still desire love and you are going to call it in. You are going to manifest a deep connection here. Okay. So let's go ahead and look a little deeper. Nine of Wands. Thank you. Okay. Five of Cups, right? I feel like you've been sitting, waiting for a long time. Waiting, watching, um, 
I almost feel like, because there's two coffee cups sitting here, maybe you've been waiting for a very long time um, for a promised date with this person. Okay. Three of cups. Again, the nine of wands and the three of cups. Spirit is just right. Really reiterating here that um, I feel like this person, they're not following through. They are watching you very, very closely on social media, but they also could be um, like, you know, off playing around and feeling like, you know, it's okay. I don't really need to move into this direction right now. And that doesn't work for you, right? You may not have blocked them yet, but you may have thought about it. Okay, generosity. King of Pentacles. Okay, again, I feel like this person is watching you and you are rising up and you are doing really well and um, they're fantasizing that they are a part of it, right? But the reason you're doing really well is because you're really focusing on yourself. Okay, Three of Swords, Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, again, I feel like, right, we have the this energy here earlier in the reading with the singles of a king of wands who was just being like, you know, in and out. And um, I feel like that's right. Like you're tired of being the one having to take control. You are calling in something here. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. And what you're calling in is something, someone that is going to match your energy, right? Underneath it all here, okay, seven of swords. Yeah, you're like, I don't want to have to keep carrying this knife with me to keep cutting out all of these cords, right? I'm ready for something different, okay? So let's clarify a little bit here, okay? Tell me about the nine of pentacles for the singles here, okay? Ten of swords, yeah, again, I feel like you're using all of the pain from whatever situation you've been in to really push yourself forward, okay? Which is a really beautiful energy. Ace of swords here, okay, page of wands in reverse. And I love that because we've got that page of wands with the nine of pentacles, right? Like you feel like you don't have anything that you need to really say, do, be to this person. Like you're like, I'm not out there on social media, like calling you out, but yeah, you can go ahead and be my muse, right? And that's kind of what's going on here. Three of swords in reverse. Okay, four of wands, right? You are working with your ancestors, calling in something that will attune to your frequency, okay? Because this person thinks they're an emperor, but they are not, right? Knight of pentacles in reverse. I feel like they never could really come in and offer you what you wanted. They never took the full leap of faith, right? Okay, doubles. Okay, four of pentacles. Again, some of you have changed the code, perhaps the code to get into the house, right? Knight of cups. Um, maybe you got tired of, okay, uh, trying to wake them up like maybe they only would come and connect with you like really honestly when they were you know altered 
Um, or now that you're moving on, now they're waking up to this, okay? This tower, this Jenga, okay, is the Three of Swords, right? You felt this in your gut for a long time, okay? You just couldn't really wrap your head around it. But it's been very obvious recently, okay? Two of Swords here with the Eight of Cups. There's nothing being, again, nothing being decided, nothing being put in. You've emo emotionally, you've detached. You're moving on, okay? Knight of Cups in reverse, Seven of Swords. The reason that you're not getting what you expect out of this person could be due to secrets that they have not opened up to you yet, right? Like maybe they are struggling, okay? They could be doing poorly in school or at work, or maybe they've got overdue bills, right? And they don't know how to tell you, okay? The magician, they are trying to, as they're underwater emotionally, they're trying to figure out how to fix it, but they're not, they're not, offering any of that knowledge to you okay queen of pentacles two of wands right you are already imagining yourself out the door okay even if you're not there and you are building towards it okay for our situations okay five of cups okay seven of cups right Waiting and waiting and waiting and never, right? Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Always waiting on this person and never feeling like you are being chosen. Okay, nine of wands with the three of cups again. Okay, nine of swords. It has hurt you to have to, like hang on to all of this overthinking that you have done in this situation. But in truth, this has really shown you your true inner strength. Okay, and so you're rising up. Nine of Pentacles, they're watching this. Five of Swords, but they can't, they can't like compete right like they can't step up there because they're still stuck in all of this very um, old sludgy energy okay queen of wands in reverse Okay, again, the Nine of Wands. And it's like she's found a secret pathway through, okay? Right? She's found the bridge. You're done with that, right? You're calling in somebody of equal value. <laughs> King of Pentacles, King of Swords in reverse, right? You're like, I am calling in someone transparent and strong okay my equal here four of cups i'm no longer taking what does not align to me okay so let's get a little bit of advice moving forward here okay the world in reverse with the queen of swords okay that's how we kind of started out here right the queen of swords with the world and the upright some of you really need to listen to the overall energy of breaking the chains. Some of you don't really know how to cut the cord here. Okay. Five of cups, five of pentacles, right? The inner child moon was awakened with that full moon eclipse. Okay. And there's a fear of being alone. I just saw an article talking about how, you know, oftentimes 
people that are alone are much happier. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups in reverse, right? Spirit is saying, isn't it better to move to where you feel stable and secure than to be in something that is untrue? Okay. That is a falsehood, right? Because you're never going to have, okay, Knight of Cups, you've turned away from this. You're never going to offer this what you did in the past. Okay, Four of Cups, right? That's why your inner child has come out. Your inner child is like, let's look at ourselves and let's look at our future. And... There's a reason why we've taken our fire and moved forward, right? The magician, let's see what we have manifested, okay? So let's go ahead and close it off with an oracle here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. House three, okay, early learning, childhood relationships, right? The rational mind and communication, right? Again, okay, you are working on the inner childhood fears to break free, to break the chains. You all right, Jeremy Spirit? He's pushing me away. Are you pushing all of this energy away? Okay, let's put on my glasses. This space reflects your rational mind, communication skills, and the early experiences that shaped them. If looked at from the perspective of a lifespan, it's the wide-eyed child who absorbs all surrounding information. It's the natural home of Gemini, butterfly of the zodiac, insatiated curious as it gathers information. Oh, insatiably curious. Okay, Mercury ruled. It tells the story of your Primal developmental years. Okay. The omen here. Can you recall a time you felt scared to speak up or even silenced? That's the kind of question to go into the journey space with. Okay. Can you recall a time you felt scared to speak up or even silenced? That's the soul retrieval. Okay. Revisit this memory and with the wisdom and conviction of your higher self, Tell the little you inside, your voice matters. Someone may be a natural extrovert speaking freely in front of many, while another may be more introverted, preferring one-on-one -on -one communications in intimate settings. Whether it's loud and from the mountaintops or quiet on the pages of a journal, express yourself without inhibitions. Get to know your voice and let yourself be heard. It's okay if it lands on deaf ears. It's okay if it isn't well received. It's okay to disappoint, disarm, or disillusion. What matters most is you let your voice be heard. I love that. That is the theme that kind of came out over the weekend, right? So open up, speak your truth even if it's just to yourself in your car, <laughs> okay? Speak your truth. The vibrations will move mountains, okay? So I love you guys. I hope this helped you. I hope you have a beautiful week, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.